Hi, General Music students. I wanted us to do some more stuff in GarageBand. One thing that I noticed from our GarageBand projects last time was that we struggled with figuring out how to make song structure. So what I want you guys to do is, on your iPads, I want you to go into GarageBand. And we're going to walk through how we can make that song structure. So if you are already in GarageBand and you have a song open, please go to My Songs. We're going to create a new song. And I'll tell you what loops we're going to use. So once you create your new song, you're going to go over to the track side. And you're going to scroll over until you find that audio recorder. And once you get to this screen here, you're going to look in the top left again to go to the tracks view. And you should see this. For right now, we are going to all use the same loops just for practice. So when you go up to the top right, clicking your loops button, we're going to scroll up to the top, click on instrument. And first we're going to add in a drum beat. So I'm going to go to all drums. I'm going to have us pick atmosphere beat. So just scroll down a little bit until you see atmosphere beat. Press and hold. And bring it over to the first line. The second one that we're going to add, we're going to add a bass line. So you can go back up to the top back to instruments and filter it for a bass. Next we're gonna add in this first one here, bang bang bass one. So you press and hold that one, add it in. The next one we're gonna add in, we're gonna add some synth parts. So again, go back up, choose your synthesizer here, we're going to add the afloat pad. And we're also going to add one more from our synthesizers. It's going to scroll down just a little bit to Cascade Synth Pluck Lead. So that's the one that we want right here. We'll add this one in. And finally, we're going to add a guitar part. So going back up to your instrument selection, going to guitars, and then we're going to find the loop called Ice Crystals Guitar. And it's the first one under the letter I. Okay, so right now you should have all those loops there. In order to create our new sections, what we're going to do is we're going to press the top right corner with the plus sign next to where you see how many bars we have. And what I want you to do is I want you to duplicate this first section. I want you to duplicate it three more times. So just press duplicate, press it again, and press it again. So now we should have four different sections that are eight bars long. And I want you to show all of those sections now. And just tap anywhere to get out of that. So right now, our song is 32 measures long. And it looks kind of boring because we got the same thing going on for the whole thing. So when you're trying to edit in your different sections, we want to think we're going to do a very simple structure. So we want to have verse, chorus, bridge, and chorus. So assuming that our chorus is going to be the peak of our song, we're probably going to keep all of these loops in here. So why don't I play a little bit of it for you so you can kind of hear what it's going to sound like in our chorus. Oh, I guess I can't do that on my screencast. So you'll have to find out yourself what it sounds like. But our main part, we're going to probably have all those loops in for our chorus. So sections B, which is at the 9 marker and section D at 25. Those are going to be our chorus sections. So those are going to stay the same. 
Now, with section C and section A, we want to do something different. So with our A section, that's going to be our verse. So let's say that maybe we don't want to add in that guitar part quite yet, so we're going to click on that one in section A, tap it again, and we're going to delete it. And let's say we also want to save our a float pad. We want that to come in later as well. So we're going to delete that whole thing too. And let's say we've got our, we want our start out with our beat, but then halfway through our verse we want to add in and build up to our chorus. So the, our bass line, we, it already repeats twice because it's only four bars long. So what we're going to do is we're going to take where it has that little arrow, we're going to make it half as long, and then we're going to slide it over to where it says five. And now, if we look at part C, maybe we want to do something totally different. Maybe we want to totally drop out the drums. Maybe we want to add them in halfway through, and we do the same thing like we did with our bass. We move it over. Maybe we just want to ditch both of these synthesizer parts. So we're going to do that. And maybe this is going to be our bridge part. This is going to be something different. And if you can see on here, our parts B and D are going to be our choruses. They're going to be um, filled with all the loops that we want. And we've got a verse that has a part building up to our chorus. And our bridge is somewhat different, has some differing parts. So when you're making your different song structures, I hope you keep in mind how to do this. So I want you to try this on your own, making your song structure, and then I want you to take a listen to it, and I want you to hear the different parts and notice when the choruses come back in and how you can tell because of our song structure that we created. Um, once you're done with that, I encourage you to do something similar to our GarageBand project for the rest of class. Start combining your own loops, but be thinking about song structure and how we're building our GarageBand songs.